what's good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about low pass high pass and band pass filters so let's get right into it all right so we have EQ pulled up and we have this sample here we'll just play a couple seconds of this sample all right so the first filter that we're gonna do is low pass so now to keep these in mind so when you hear low pass that's essentially just going to pass on the low frequencies. That's how I understand it. That's how I can remember it. Because high pass will just pass on the high frequencies. Let me show you what that looks like inside this EQ. So if we're going to do a low pass, this is what it would look like. It's something like this, all right? It's taking out the high frequencies and leaving the low, okay? And now a high pass would be the exact opposite, where it looks something like this. All right, so let's listen to see how those two sound. First, let's start with a low pass. Filters can add a lot of sauce. As you can see, they're just automating that or modulating that to where it just gradually brings those higher frequencies in can be some unique sauce that you can get. And you can automate anything here, all right? You would just have to go up in here to notes and automation and then hit record and then just be able to move this around. I would also recommend if you're going to record automation, have an empty pattern so that your automation can record into that like so. All right, now let's see what high pass sounds like. Just the exact opposite. It's just going to be taking those lows out and leaving the highs, all right? And you can have as much a low pass, even this right here. Just a little bit of frequencies taken out in the lows is considered a high pass. Same thing over here. If we were to barely just take out any higher frequencies, it would still be considered a low pass. That's what I'm saying. Just think of when you hear it, low pass, you're passing on the lows. You're keeping them. You're taking the highs. And high pass, passing on the highs, taking the lows, all right? And then there's another filter called band pass, which is essentially just both of them at the same time. If you want to make it easier when you're doing filters inside the EQ, you can hit this drop down, go to presets, and then do three bands. So yeah, this, you can have this, and essentially all band pass is, like I said, is just this, where on both sides it's sloped down. And it doesn't have to be just the mid frequencies. This could be sitting anywhere in the frequency spectrum. So it could be over here. That is still considered a band pass. It could be over here. Once again, still considered a band pass. Now you can get other third party effects or even some stock effects like Fruity Love Filter that will help you get really cool filters and mess with the resonance and other effects inside the filter to get it even more unique. So if you want to see a video talking about Fruity Love Filter and how you can do that, let me know in the comments. But that's pretty much it on low pass, high pass, and band pass. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.